Hey everybody, welcome back. So at the risk of sounding obsessed with stove jacks, I've got one more for you. And uh, I can't promise this is going to be the last one, but uh, it's almost like I need an intervention. You know, I go out for uh, bread and milk and I'm wandering around the grocery store aisles and wouldn't you know it, something jumps out at me and says, you know what, I think that would be a great stove jack. Uh, before or not and I, there may be other brands but what this is uh, by a company called Coquina I'm just reading right off the box here and this is rated to 550 degrees Fahrenheit 288 degrees Celsius and and what it is is a um, reusable grilling sheet and this company makes a couple of different versions of this um, there they also had a um, a reusable oven liner so you put in the bottom of your oven so when your you know whatever apple pie overflows it you know keeps the bottom of your oven clean and, and I think there was even uh, one or two others but kind of the key here is when something says rated to 550 degrees I'm going wow that would make a great stove jack so basically what these are it looks like a piece of plastic and uh, it, it's kind of comes rolled up in a tube like uh, like you know, I don't know, like some foil or plastic or something. So literally, you got this plastic sheet and uh, it feels like plastic, looks like plastic, uh, as thin as plastic, um, but it's rated to 550 degrees. So, you know, imagine with me if you can, you know, we're cutting a hole through the center of this and mounting this on the outside of our tarp shelter uh, or hot tent, you know, what have you. Um, you, you could probably fold it up. I'm sure it would probably crease, but if you cut it out to the right size that you need, you know, and then roll it back up and it, uh, uh, they suggest it even comes with this handy little ring that you pop back around there. So, uh, it feels like plastic, looks like plastic, um, lightweight, portable. So the question remains, yeah, we can cut a hole in the center of this. It's not going to stretch around your pipe, but you know, you could cut it pretty tight. I assume it's not going to melt. I haven't tested it. But how do you attach this uh, to the side of your tent? And one of the problems I had with the silicone cookie sheet is that I, I couldn't get anything to stick with this. Like it's literally a nonstick rubber. So, you know, we, we came up with screws and all kinds of other things. And I and I finally did figure out a way uh, to, to get duct tape to stick to that um, using crazy glue. So I got a whole video... <laughs> on that uh, so check that out if you're interested so my first thought with this is okay again it's non-stick how do we get this to you know how do we attach that to our uh, tarp or or tent so first thing is let's get out the duct tape and see if it sticks well wouldn't you know just like plastic duct tape actually sticks to this stuff so so that's kind of cool i mean it, it's this is just inexpensive duct tape and that's on there pretty good so uh and of course duct tape will stick to your tent fabric or your uh, tarp fabric uh, i don't know if it'll stick to um like a, a cotton canvas tent but um you know if you've got a canvas tent worth a thousand bucks you're probably gonna <laughs> spend a little bit more than uh you know than something like this this by the way was about $12 Canadian, so it's about $10 US, something like that. So certainly meets the criteria for uh, withstanding heat, portable, lightweight, and easy to attach to your tarp shelter. So, so that's all I'm gonna tell you about this today. Um, I, I literally was out today getting milk and I saw this in the grocery store and thinking, aha, <laughs> another stove jack. So if, if this interests you, you know, check out that brand. I don't know if you can read it. Uh, Coquina, C-O-O-K-I-N-A. And this happens to be a uh, reusable grilling sheet, which you can you know, cook your food literally on your barbecue. So you, you know it's going to uh, withstand some heat there. Again, thanks for watching. Till next time, take it easy.